This is how North Korea secretly produces, smuggles and distributes heroin all over the world. Back in the 1970s, North Korea established state-run opium farms, which the government still to this day claim are purely for the production of pharmaceuticals. From 1998 onwards, as the North Korean economy was tanking and the country was struck by famine and the government got desperate to raise money, North Korea ordered all collective farms to dedicate at least 25 acres of land to grow poppies, still supposedly just for pharmaceutical usage. But according to South Korean intelligence, pharmaceutical facilities inside North Korea have secret heroin producing labs hidden inside them, with individual labs reportedly producing two tons of heroin and opium monthly. That opium is then smuggled out of North Korea and into other countries with the assistance of international crime syndicates such as the Chinese Freeds and the Japanese Yakuza, and also via North Korean diplomats who smuggle the drugs out of North Korea and into their embassies all over the world and sell them on from there. Some Japanese sources believe that up to half of all drugs imported into Japan originate from North Korea. 